Hey everyone, so with 5.3 coming out, the biggest real change that everyone is really excited about is displacement, which is what creates this from a normal material that looks like this. Um, I've seen a lot of tutorials so far and a lot of them don't really explain how to do this perfectly. Um, they miss some steps and you might be left wondering what you did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. They kind of miss some stuff. So this tutorial is all going to be about how to do this in 5.3. Um, so the first thing you want to do is open up your uh, Unreal Engine 5.3. It has to be 5.3, 5.2, 5.1 will not work. It has to be 5.3. So open that up. And then once you open it up, the first thing you can do after that is immediately close it because you're going to have to open it in the folder. So once that happens, you're going to go over to your folder where you save the project and you want to go into your configuration, uh, enter that. And then you want to go into default engine and open this. You're just going to see this. Um, notepad right here, you're going to want to go down to right here where it says render settings and you want to add these two in R nanite allow tessellation equals one and then R nanite tessellation equals one. Um, I will have both of these written out in the description. All you have to do is copy and paste it and you're ready to go. Once you do that, you want to reopen your project and you are going to uh, have tessellation enabled. So to do this, I want you to go up to the top left hand corner and add a shape and then you can copy this shape. So now you have two. Um, once that's done, go into Quixel Bridge and download anything you want. Uh, I suggest something that's rocky or maybe bricks, anything that's going to show the tessellation that you want to see um, and you're ready to get started. So once that's done. Uh, I have these mega scans right here. Uh, if you want to use the exact ones I'm using, this is Beach Cliff, uh, Leech and Covered Rock, and then Rock Cliff. Um, I'm going to go into Leech and Covered Rock, and I'm going to go click uh, Create Material. Um, you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as New Material, and then open it up. Um, once it's open, you're going to grab these three and bring them in. Um, separate them out. And then you are going to plug this one into base color, uh, this one into normal, and then the red is going to go for roughness, the green is going to go for ambient occlusion, and the blue is going to go for displacement. Um, once that's done, you can apply and then click uh, anywhere on the grid to go back to this screen right here. And you're going to want to go down and then just so you can see it, I would say change the magnitude to 20, just so it's uh, really obvious and you won't miss it kind of thing. Uh, you can leave it at four, it'll work at four. It just won't be as apparent. So if you really wanna know it's working, just move it up to 20. Uh, and then you can apply again and save. Um, once that's done, you should take the new material, put it on one uh, and put the old material on the other. Now this popped up immediately and it's done. Um, I will say this won't always happen. So if you just threw the material on and it's not looking like this, you want to go over to material, click on it, and then at the very top hand, type in nanite, and then see how it says en uh, enable nanite support, click on it. Now that nanite is enabled, this should definitely be changing. If it still doesn't change, there's a chance the uh, console commands uh, are needed. If that's the case, you can go back over to what I wrote um, in the comment section. If it still doesn't seem to be working, I would suggest typing in uh, the same commands you did in the engine here. All you need to do is take out the equal, so it's just one, and then type in the other command, which is the, just the tessellation. Um, and again, taking out the equal sign and entering. Uh, all those things should set it up for you. So now you have one with tessellation, and one without. Um, this should pretty much cover all the issues that I've come across when it comes to applying this. Um, if you have any other issues, let me know and kind of give me some specifics and I'll help you out. But this works on pretty much everything. You can put this on landscapes, you can put this on statics, and it's pretty awesome. So I'm really excited for this to become an official feature in Unreal Engine and um, good luck guys. Uh, like and subscribe and um, let me know if you wanna learn anything else.